30 years old and like really not have to worry about money at all. It's something I'm kind of like honestly a little bit uncomfortable talking about in general. Oh, the God. Wow. Wow, wow. I inherited it pretty young. My grandpa got cancer, oh. died. My grandma got cancer, died. My mom got cancer, died. My dad got cancer, and my stepdad got cancer, and I'm an only child. Somebody had to do it. Huh? I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. I grew up financially like, very well off. I'm a rich fan. Like, I went to a country club, I went to private school in my college. I'm incredibly financially poor. Oh my god! Is this the same person that said that he doesn't want his entire identity to be money? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you didn't already know, act like you know, because it's that as us. So let's hop right into this video. So, today we are reacting to Love is Blind Season 7 Moments That Make Me Glad I'm Single. So, before we hop in, you already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. How's it feel to be engaged? Bruh. Oh, no weird. So, how do you feel? Oh. Uh. I don't know how I feel. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Oh. I don't feel like you just say that. This is uncomfortable. Uh. This is definitely one of the most awkward moments in my life. Oh. That's not a good thing to hear. Not when you've gotten proposed to. <laughs> I've never been in a long-term relationship. Oh, okay. I've only ever been in a situationship. Oh. I've never heard the term situationship before. Yeah. Well. It's like a situation you're in with a girl or a guy. Hence the word situationship. We can't pretend to be in a situationship later. <laughs> Robot! I've oh. accomplished a lot in life, right? Right. You go to college, you get a job, you get your dream job. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. actually quit my job to be here. What? <laughs> I hate lettuce. Oh, boy. I don't eat anything with it on top. Wait, hold on. Did she just say that she had her dream job and she quit to be on this show? No. <laughs> uh, I'm a big foodie. Love the cook. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> My dating history is athletes and rock stars. I could easily seduce any of these guys to fall in love with me. Oh. oh. Some people want to be false babes and make all the money and live their lifestyle. I'm obviously a trophy wife. What was the last oh. thing you tried to cook? A smoothie? Oh. I wanted to be a to cook? for the longest time. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then I ended up going down the path of being a physicist. Oh, Without God. my phone, I'm like, I need to go back to school because I can't spell sh. What? That is not cute. My biggest insecurity <laughs> is that a girl only wants me, like, for money. I'm really fortunate to be 30 years old and like really not have to worry about money at all. It's something I'm kind of like honestly a little bit uncomfortable talking about in general. Oh, wow. 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 I inherited it pretty young. My grandpa got cancer, oh. died. My grandma got cancer, died. My mom got cancer, died. My dad got cancer and my stepdad got cancer and I'm an only child. Somebody had to do it. Huh? I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. I grew up financially like, very well off. I'm a rich fan. Like, I went to a country club, I went to private school in my college. I'm incredibly financially poor. Oh my god! Is this the same person that said that he doesn't want his entire identity to be money? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Don't and don't. I really believe that I'm like a unique, special person. Oh, okay. You wear this watch if you're like a fucking like, CEO or a lawyer. Britney's gonna be expensive. <laughs> I have money. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, I haven't like asked me like a million things about my job. Like some people are like, so what's the most expensive piece of art you sold? And it's like, I understand wanting to know oh that because God. it's like inherently interesting. It's like you just don't meet an Snooze art dealer every day. Snooze fest. Want like my job to ever define me. How would you split the bills? Would it be 50-50? <sighs> I do like the thought of both of us paying something because it feels like we're both invested. Nope. My last relationship, I was taken care of a hundred percent. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> why not here? Like, why did you want to do this? I want something sincere. I want something genuine. You say all the right things. Every time I ask you a question, you articulate it great. You explain your feelings to me. Why can't you just go with that? There's like this like gut feeling. I'm so glad I'm over that boy. He's Probably just your so gut feeling. smooth. I think it's the love of my life. Yeah, that man is not the love of you. Do I want to marry someone who's naturally flirtatious? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. I just heard his name a lot in the last 24 hours. And yeah. Like, He's a fun, he's a fun time. How are you also talking to him? You're gonna like cut him loose at some point, right? Hannah, you know what you gotta do. Yeah. I technically hold the title of being a cheater. Wait, what? Huh? I basically slid into a girl's DMs like a dumbass. We yeah. were flirting with intention. I got caught. I was very... So you're a cheat. Myself. What? And there was a lot Sorry. of... I would leave. I would leave. And there was a lot sorry. of... Wow. Why are you sorry? That you were like too hard on yourself. <gasps> what? Oh God! You can't be this desperate. Ago, my no. Sister does an Ancestry.com. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Most of it is Nigerian, <clears throat> Congolese, wow. Sierra Leonean, and. 
primarily a lot of West Africa. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I have identified as white my whole life. Yeah. You know, I you're a wh- pretty much thought I was, you know. And, yeah. And it turns out I'm not even you, <laughs> white presenting yeah. man. I cannot. No, yes, you're no. white. The other guy I'm seeing, like, like a white man. Do you feel like that I wasn't committed to you? Or do you just genuinely feel a stronger connection with your other match? I'm so fucking into you. Hannah, I felt like... I'm so... I want you. Like, what would you say if I asked you to marry me right now? What? Just give me an answer. I'm just tortured sitting over here, like, willing to tear my f***ing hair out. Is he the oh best person? Oh, God. Or is he just the first person to tell you I love you? We're not the kind of people that get validation easily. There was no chill. No, zero chill. No, no. I'm, s- I'm scared. I'm so in love with you, Brittany. Lies, lies, and, and more lies. lies. lies Recipes, queen. Lies. I tried <laughs> to start writing a sweet letter full of love. I feel like our connection has been tainted by your words to someone else. When I saw all the girls this morning, I feel like they think I'm settling for you. Emotional damage. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't help with the song. I'm tell you that I love you. Like, I love you so much. Please. Uh, what do you reveal? You don't like what you see? Or like, what, what if, if you like... don't like what you see? Huh? Me. I don't know. Paul described himself as like a football player, like bigger, medium build, like 5'11". I don't think it's really truthful. I wanna go. Mm-mm. She disappointed. Oh my god. She okay. like this. So how you feel? I don't know like, how I feel. Oh, sure she don't want to be there. Ah. I don't feel like it's too much. This is uncomfortable. This is definitely one of those awkward moments in my oh life. My oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not surprised. Are you I'm surprised? I'm not surprised either. Not surprised. Are you surprised? No, we're not surprised. I do. I like it. Take it off of you. She wants to have tonight. I'm good to go. I'm waxed and everything, baby. What did he say? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't tell me. Oh. Be, it'll be like, he is not that nice. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it wasn't nice to y'all. Hey, y'all didn't give me a reason to be nice. Yeah. There's nothing no one can tell me. Okay. No, please not get my hat. It's a good sun hat. Is there a mirror over here somewhere? Gosh. I don't feel it at all. I love it. I love that you don't. I hate your taste. Bombastic side eye. In fashion. Good. Why you hate all my style so much? I just love picking up, picking on you. Ah. Uh, Even it's not someone no, that can walk up to you and be like, "You are the hottest guy here, and I want to like take off your clothes." But I think he's the hottest guy ever because I'm in love with him. Wow. Girl, what? In the pods, BDE. I said a couple times, he better be really hot. And he's, he's cute. He's very small. Oh. Oh, girl. I'm not like a jealous person. Yeah. We were having like an intimate moment. And then like there was like these ducks over there. And I was like, Nick was like, I'm going to go ride that duck. And like some like older woman did it with him. She's like, let's race, baby. And then Nick was like, yeah, baby, let's race. And then I was like, Nick, Nick. The girl was like, oh, looks like your girl. Just a jealous little. Oh. Yeah, and Nick just laughed. That's not very respectful. Yeah, I would have laughed at you. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's jealous. Don't be <laughs> oh. Uh-uh, not the lady following him. I hopped on the horse. She want like some older <clears throat> woman wanted to ride it with me. We did it for five yards, and she was pissed about what? it. What? Why are you like, riding the horse? Like, Ten bullet points oh, on Lord. a note card of what what she's questioning. But a woman's talking. Tra- a treat, and you're just like I, I, sitting there giggling. Do you know how it would make me feel bad? We do get jealous. That means nothing. That was so like irrelevant. Really. <laughs> Really? Uh. You have all your life to like flower her, literally. I'm gonna flower her and deflower her. What did he say? Hey. Oh, thank you. Tell me That's everything. Fair. What do you think? And here we go. The girls were supporting each other. It was such a nice validation. You have been at the top of my list since the first day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Need to make moves for the future. This is how we should plan things out. Don't stress so much about the future. One eternity mm-hmm. later. Because all it does mm-hmm. is sort of. I'm being yeah. chatty again. Literally cannot get a word in. I'm so sorry. All I know is we just left <laughs> this party. Suddenly the energy is off. Right. And I'm asking you what's wrong and like I'm not getting Ooh. much back. You did this for what? Why not? Why? Why, why not? But why? why? The only thing no. I could think about was going back to the room, taking like a long <laughs> shower and going to bed. I felt very shunned in the moment. Okay. 
I couldn't complete a sentence without it getting cut off. I started to feel very, very disrespected. When I covered your mouth, I feel like that made it even worse. No shit. You what? were assuming a lot of things of how I felt and what was going on in my mind. It literally just like irritated me so much because I'm just like, I don't know how to talk to you right now. And that's just really? how I felt. Um, really? She's explaining it to you. Yeah, I'm just saying, really. You just kept yelling, and you're just like, okay, speak, speak, speak. I felt belittled. Apologize for how things happen, but you can't talk and listen at the same time. And I started talking, and I kept getting cut off. So I was like, okay, I'll stop, but please speak. What you think is disrespectful is different from what I think is disrespectful. You were very in my face. I don't take some of the things that were implied about me and my character lightly. And I do not take... Being called anything but my name lightly. Um, oh, where's this leave us? I'm not sure. When I came here, oh. I came with the full intention that this was probably gonna be the last conversation we ever had. Oh, not the last conversation we ever had. Damn. Well, this season seems bizarre. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, from calling this person out his name, um, you know, all these bees and whatever, and then the guy kind of gaslighting the girl and telling her like, you know, she shouldn't be jealous and whatever. I mean, hot ass mess, but entertaining nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.